This is going to be a full guide for most of the current skips and routing based on the current world record as of February 5th. Once we load in the first level, we want to get this chair and position it in a way where the wheels are pointing towards you. Then you want to get to the golden hand, look away from it, and then hold S and slowly look down until it starts to lift you up. Once you're on top of the hand, you can strafe over and get on top of the second floor. Then position your chair half on the railing and half off like this, so it can fall over into this position, which will make the clip a little easier. Now you just need to wait for the guy to open the elevator and then get in. Just before the door closes, you want to quick save and then back out like I do. You also want to be paying attention to what time the door closes, so you know when to drop the chair on top of you. It should be around 20 to 22 seconds after the elevator closes. You want to pick up the chair in the position I do, back is pointed towards you. You get to around that 20 second time frame, you want to jump, press E to release the chair, and quick save when it hits your head. Load the elevator save, then go up. I usually get past this black line and then quick load the chair save and it should clip you down. Now that we're down here we can pick up the memory block and go into these rooms. You gotta be crouch spamming so you don't get hit and there's a couple ways down here. I like to go into this corner and drop down. You can also drop the box below you and you can ride it down so you don't take fall damage. You can pick up the meds under the staircase and get the SMG so you can kill this guy and go back to pick the block up. You can then just follow the route I take. After I go through this door I like to pick up the meds on the chair. Then just get the memory block in place and get to the trigger by going to this door. You gotta be spamming buttons so you can get out of the cutscene and not die. And get to the door as fast as you can so you can despawn the enemies. Then just turn back around and go back up the way you came. Again, you can pick up some meds on the chair. Kill these two guys and get out into the lobby so you can kill these other soldiers and get to the end of the level. And that was chapter 13 skip. We're gonna load into the level following the old tracks. You just wanna get into the level and get to this light as soon as possible. Once you're there, you can crouch jump on it and get to the race section of the wall and do another crouch jump so you can get on top of the fence. And just jump around this invisible barrier and then you can b-hop to the end of this road. Once you get over here, you can strafe around like I do and try to land on the top section of this roof so you take less fall damage. And you can drop on this box too so you take less damage. Then all you need to do is go to the door so you can end out this level. Now we're in the level escape. For this level, you just wanna get down the stairs and go towards where the water's at and get on top of the handrail as fast as you can. Once you get on it, you need to make a strafe like this so you can get onto this platform then you just need to walk along and then make it to the other platform and then get to the catwalk you can then jump and interact with this item and you can get it through the floor now you just need to circle back i like to get on top of this railing you can jump higher onto the ladder then you just need to go up the ladder and then hit the button so you can open the door Just walk down this hallway and then get to the ladder. Once you get up the ladder, you need to get to the forklift so you can interact with it and then open the door. You can shoot your grenade launcher at this spot so you can destroy the turret inside. And then you can shoot the other one once you're inside. Just go up the ladder and shoot the boxes so they're out of your way. And then go up the other ladder so you can activate the switch. Turn around and then get into your car. Once you're inside the car, you can go forward a little bit and then start holding R. So it can TP you here. And you can tap W a couple times and then hold it while you're in the cutscene. And then you should be able to see your car move while you're inside the cutscene. Once you get past that vehicle with the turn on it, you can cancel out of the cutscene. You just want to leave your truck in front of the gate and then get to the room where you can open it. Now that the gate's open, you just need to get back to your car. Once it's opened, you can go forward till around where the barricades were at and get out while your car is still moving. Then when it comes to a stop, you can get back in and go forward. That should skip a cutscene if you did it correctly. And then you just need to get out and hit this so you can end out the level. You can wait for the door to open some, and then you can jump midway through it. You then just want to kill all the soldiers and make it up these stairs so you can make this strafe and crouch jump on top of this fence. Just follow the top of this until you get to your vehicle and then drive it to the end of the level. For a race with troubles, you're probably gonna spawn in looking backwards. Just try to tap A so you don't slam into the wall. You then just follow the road till you get here. You can set up a quick save a little before you drive into the mountain so you can get faster attempts. But you just wanna drive it into it like I am and then you can hopefully get past this barrier. Then again, you just keep driving down this road. If you used to get out and get this rocket launcher here, don't need to, you can just keep driving and get around these vehicles. 
Once you get over here, you can stop your truck near this gate and get on top by crouch jumping and making another jump over the fence. You can go pick up some meds if you need them and then come over here and then make a jump around this wall. Make sure you kill this guy or sometimes the next skip won't work. Then just go in here and then down the level. For damn, you want to get into the room with the car and kill everyone as soon as possible. You want to get in front of the car and pick up the box so you can wedge it in between these two wheels. So when you activate the lift, hopefully it'll break, not let the car up for a little bit. Then just set up a save where you can hit the switch, try to get on top of the car as soon as possible. If it doesn't clip you through the ceiling, you should quick save on the top of the truck and then exit out the level and then reload it and you might be able to clip through. If you clip through the floor like this, you want to get to the right, the highest part of the vehicle. And then you can crouch jump to the left and you should be able to make it up like I did. Then you just need to call the elevator and then get in and then call it down. There's another skip here, which I'll pull up. It seems like there's a more consistent setup for this skip bound by SCAD. You just want to get to this button before the guy does. So he's just standing in front of the lift. And you want to aim at his neck and then press melee when the gate's still a little bit open. And then you walk in a little bit after that and just stop moving at the autosave. You then would need a quick save when you're falling down and then load back in and spam space so you don't take fall damage. Then you can just follow where I'm going and then end out this level. For the way to Cosmoport, you want to jump through this window and kill these soldiers so you can call the elevator. Once you do that, just go inside and press up. Also might be a good idea to kill the other soldier in case he throws a nade like he did and it actually makes it inside. You then want to get into this corner so you can be near the truck when the elevator's all the way up. Then just kill this guy and get inside the truck. You want to back up and then go forward and then you can kill all the soldiers and objects that are in your way. It's a good idea to quick save before you go inside the tunnel because it can be kind of buggy. And then you just drive on the road till you get here. You just want to drive off here and try to land on your wheels. You want to get to this area of the dirt and then drive up the mountain. on top of it you want to just keep driving forward and then fall off the edge and then try to land onto the road or where i do you can also quick save in the middle of the air and if you land on the back of the truck you can load back in and most times you'll land back on your wheels now you just want to drive to this section and try to ram your car into the rocks so you can boost yourself on top of the mountain and then just navigate your way on top once you get up here you want to fall back into the map behind the barrier you can land on the road, or if you get a good one, you can land right on the end trigger like I did. Finishing spurt, you just want to follow the road till you get here. Once you're over here, you want to go off to the left and drive down this cliff slowly. Similar to skipping triggers in cars, you want to get out of the car and have it drive forward some before it hits the water. Once it's right before the water, you can get back in and you should be able to drive under the water. All you need to do now is just follow the route I take. Once you get over here and your vehicle disappears, you want to quick save and then quick load, make it appear again. Here you get past this lighthouse, I like to line up the crosshair to the edge of the mountain. Then once you get past the back of the mountain that I was looking at to the left, you then can realign your crosshair a little bit to the left where I'm looking. Once you fall down, you want to quick save and then count to five and then hold R. You then should spawn around here and then you just want to drive forward. You can shoot these barricades out of your way and then you want to align yourself to the right of this ramp and then quick save just as your wheels leave the ramp. If you then load at a good time and you have a good jump, you can flip over and hear an indication that you made it to the trigger. You then want to load the save before you reset your car, then hold R again, and you should get reset further along. Now you just need to drive to the end of the level. Now for the level to the stars. The skip is considered one of the more annoying ones, so just be aware of that. You just want to kill all the guys and destroy the turret, and get your car in this position so you can back up and go up the mountain. It can make it easier getting up this if you spam quick save. Once you get it, you want to drive straight through this tunnel, and after you see the save game, you can hold R and TP your car forward. Now 
Now just drive to this and go inside the building. And you just want to crouch spam through here and kill all the enemies. So you can get to the switch. You then can pick up some meds here and then get out so you can drive to the other building. Be careful where you park it because those guys will throw nades and sometimes it'll flip it. Open the door and go back out to your car and then drive forward and kill this robot. After the gate opens, you want to kill all of these soldiers. And when you get out, you can align your grenade launcher so you can destroy the turret on top of this vehicle. Then you just need to kill all the enemies as fast as possible. And get to the area that will activate the cutscene and then just spam your buttons to skip it. For soft landing, you want to get into this box so you can get your mask. Then just make your way over to this rock and you can push it so you can make it on top of this and get into the box so you can pick up the remote nades. You then just want to follow my path so you can get to the crack in the wall. Once you're over here, you want to throw the nade inside about where I do and follow my route. And you can cancel this cutscene by spamming buttons. Once you get to this box, you can fall down where I do, so you can take less fall damage. And then activate the nade and cancel out of the cutscene. If your nade was positioned in the right way, it should take down the force fields. And just make your way through the cave and get the access card. Keep going the same way I'm going, so you can get to the other force field. Just open the gate and go through this cave. You can kill these guys pretty easily by using the explosive barrels. Open this gate and then go to where you need to put the color code in. The code is going to be green, purple, and then orange. Or two, one, and six if you're colorblind. Once you get over here, you want to jump on this raised place and then make a small strafe crouch jump so you can get up here. You can also get some meds in this if you need them. You want to go to the left once you get outside, so you then can go inside the cave. You want to drop down to the right here and then go to the left. you get over here, you want to make another left and then kill this guy. You can open the box for some meds and oxygen and then just follow the route I take here. Get to this drop down, you can hug the left side of the wall and go to the middle where it lifts you up some. You then just need to crouch jump up here and then continue forward till you fall down to the end of the level. We're in the level AX plantation. You want to get over to this weird structure here and get on top of it. And for this jump, you need to crouch jump forward and then pull back. To land on the top of the barrier for this thing. Make the jump across and you can get on top of the other thing so you can make it further. Once you get over here, you're going to want to strafe over and try to land inside of this cave. You also want to make a quick save before you land. So when you load the save, you can jump at the right moment so you don't take any fall damage. And then you just need to follow my path outside of the cave. You're going to want to get on top of this rail and strafe across. And then you can take out the turrets over there with your grenade launcher. Then just go up the stairs over here. And once you get over to this force field barricade, you want to try to look at the switch behind it. 
And when your gun goes away, you can interact with it. So you can end out the level. Now we're in the complex. This one's pretty straightforward. You just want to go into this room and pick up the block. And you can get out of this room and go into the other one. So you can kill this guy and then swap out the blocks. Damn. Now you just leave this one and go into the next door. And then kill these two guys. Once you're in this room, you can put the code 310 and it will end out this level. For the hardening plant, you want to jump over this handrail and land on the other one. And then you want to go into this room where you can take out this guy and continue down the stairs. You need to pick up the access card and then go back up out the door to the right. Here you get out here, you want to go to the left and jump over this section. Then you just need to go up the stairs to the fourth floor. Once you're here, you want to open the door with the access card and then open the other door at the computer. And then you can go back out and make some jumps like I am so you can skip this section. And then just land on this railing and kill some guys so you can get to the door and then out this level. We're now in the moment of truth. You want to crouch jump over this railing and continue forward. Then you want to take out these two soldiers and then make another crouch jump so you can get over the other railing and through the door. You can shoot the grenade launcher at this group so you can take them all out and then kill the guys on the other catwalk. You just want to take the ladder up and then get inside the room on the right. You also want to break these boxes so you can get some resources and then turn on the power. You want to just go back out and make your way to the other catwalk. You want to go up the ladder and kill these guys and then turn off the system. Once you do that, you want to go to the left room and spam buttons so you can get out of the cutscene. You can then pick up some meds here if you need them, then go back out the same door and go to the left and you can pick up some nades for your grenade launcher if you need them. Then you just want to go down the ladder and then you need to kill all the soldiers in this room. Once you do that, you gotta shoot the thing down there so you can trigger the cutscene and skip it. You just need to get to this door that has mine on it and you wanna spam quick save and then interact on the door. Once you get through, you wanna load the latest quick save that has the moment of truth in it and you should be loading until a level where the door is open but the next level isn't loaded. You then need to walk back and try to load the level while you're falling so you then can be loaded under where you're normally supposed to be. Once it works, you should be in the next level. It should look like this. You just need to save and try to get a no fall damage jump by jumping at the bottom of your fall. Once you get it, you can just go over here and end out the level. We're in caution loaded now. You just need to fall down here and follow along until you get to the door. Just open them and get to the elevator. Feels like the elevator starts better if you move around when you get on it. Get up here, you want to go to the control room and then stop the reactor. Get back to the elevator and then take it down. You don't need to take it all the way down. You can jump on the cables here so you can break your fall and then go around to install all of the mines. Again, take the elevator back up when you're done. When you get up here, you want to go to the room to the right and then hit the door to end up this level. Now we're in time to get out. For this first section, you just need to kill the soldiers and crouch spam so you don't take any damage. Once you get to this section, you can push the barrel towards the fence and you can jump and move forward so you can push it over so it's easier to jump on. Then just make it over the fence and then go up the stairs. You want to then make this jump to the platform and hit this button. Then just make the jump back, make your way down to the bottom level. You want to shoot this shipping container door so you can move it out of the way. And then crouch spam and kill the soldiers I'm killing. You can then go into this corner so you can trigger the other soldiers so they can spawn. 
For this robot fight, you can make it more optimized than I am by hitting the first robot with three nades and a grenade launcher, and then reloading that grenade launcher while you go pick up the rocket launcher. You then would shoot the second robot with three rockets and then the grenade launcher, and they both should be dead. And then you just make your way to the elevator and end out this level. We're in the last level. He who laughs last. You want to follow my route down the stairs so you can pick up the access card? Once you get it, you want to turn around and then crouch spam and shoot your way to the next access point. Once you activate it, you want to go through the door and activate the cutscene and spam keys so you can get out of it. You then turn around and go through the now blown up door and you can just follow me through these hallways. When you get over here, you need to make some crouch jumps and strafes to get onto these beams. You then walk along this and strafe around the pole and then activate the elevator and drop down to make the robot follow you to the bunker. Once it's all the way up, you can get on top of it and open the hatch and then bring the robot inside. I notice if you go too far back, like past the ladder, he will start to path away. So try not to do that. Once he's inside and the hatch is closed, you can go to the back door and hit the bottom button. And then a cutscene will play. You want to try to get out of that as soon as possible. And then you can return into the room you just were in. This is going to be basically the end of the run. I hope this helps you out running this game. And I'm sure there's some skips in this that are already outdated. So you can click on the Google Docs in the Discord that'll be in the description so you can keep up to date. Or you can watch some top runners. And of course you can subscribe and I'll keep uploading more content like this. When you get to this cutscene, the time stops for the run. And again, I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to watch another video from me, not related to Exodus from the Earth, you can watch this video next. Later.